This weekend, WWE crown a new king and queen of the ring. And we are going to do the predictions for this PLE in today's Unmissable. The world is watching. Hi guys, I'm Dave in Real Life and welcome back to the channel. And yes, today we are looking at the King and Queen of the Ring predictions. Yes, this weekend we'll see us take a trip back to Saudi Arabia and uh, crown a new King and Queen of WWE. Yeah, the last time we did this, uh, it was Xavier Woods and Zelina Vega who wore the crown. Uh, we are back in Saudi Arabia. We have a, a fairly decent card, uh, I have to admit, but there's a lot of speculation going into this weekend, and I will uh, talk about that in due course. But yeah, I'm going to have a look at uh, one of the matches that is going to be on the card, and that is Sami Zayn defending his IC Championship against Bronson Reed and Chad Gable. I mean, oh my God, this storyline has been so good. Chad Gable uh, really put in the, uh, the foot down on Alpha Academy. It's so good to see in this change of character for Chad Gable. It's just so refreshing. Uh, yeah, I feel that this past week, obviously, he uh, got... Otis to help him out and get, get the victory over Sami Zayn, uh, which uh, didn't go too well. Uh, and we also saw a very guilty looking Otis apologize to uh, Sami Zayn. Does this factor into this match at the weekend? Uh, yeah, maybe so. I think Otis will be at ringside. Obviously, we saw the other two members of Alpha Academy not do what they was told. Yes, Maxine Dupree and uh, Tozawa didn't help their uh, leader or their mentor uh, and got sent to the back, but Otis did. Uh, do we see a similar situation on Saturday where Otis is left with a conundrum? Does he help his uh, trainer, uh, Chad Gable, or does he do the right thing? And help Sami Zayn. I mean, yes, this is kind of how it will play out. I kind of feel sorry for Bronson Reed in this situation because, yet again, he finds himself as the third wheel. Because uh, the, really, the story is mainly about Chad Gable and Otis and thrown in with Sami Zayn. Uh, with this being Sami Zayn's uh, home of worship, is uh, is is Mecca, if you will. Uh, I can't see him losing. I think he retains. Uh, and I think it might be through the confusion of Otis that this happens. Uh, maybe Otis just gets it wrong. Uh, it spends a little bit too much time uh, on making a decision. And then it eventually costs Chad Gable. Yeah, Either way, I feel that Sami Zayn is going to win. And uh, this is probably going to anger Bronson Reed. Maybe they just go off and do their own thing and have a feud leaving Chad and Otis to have a feud. I mean, it's very interesting. So many things can come from this match. So excited for it. Another match that I'm excited for and we're going to predict is the women queen of the ring. Uh, yeah, we know that Valkyria it has made it through to the final. She is there and she will face whoever wins the semi-final of SmackDown and that is Bianca Bella. Wonder Woman! against Nia Jax. And I've got a theory about this. I mean, it could go two ways. I feel that it's going to be a SmackDown winner of the women's. Well, we'll get to the men's, and that will back this up. Uh, but, yeah, I, I feel that we've been telling a little bit of story on Bianca Belair and her leg injury. We've uh, She's been struggling for the last couple of weeks. She's still picked up victories. Uh, but I feel that Nia's a different kettle of fish. I mean, she's not a small lass in any shape or form and this might be the difference maker maybe uh, Bianca tries to get her up for her finisher and then her knee gives way Naya takes advantage uh, I would as much as 
I guess I don't really like Nia Jax. I would like to see her win this tournament. I, I feel like it'll be a great thing for her and her character development. Uh, imagine Nia Jax walking around with a crown on her head. I mean, it's just it's just a picture. And it would just hark back to Mabel <laughs> when he won it. I mean, yeah, it is a Vince move, I'm, I'm sure, but it just kind of makes sense. Putting it on Bianca... On the other side of the scale, uh, I mean, you put it on her, does this make her even more cocky? Does this set that seed of uh, of her and Jade? Uh, as she keeps going on, oh, look, I am the queen. And Jade starts to get the green-eyed monster and gets jealous of the success that her tag partner is getting. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know which way I want to take this. I can see both sides of this. I mean, obviously, Wonder Woman winning again. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, please no. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I, I wanted this for Chelsea Green originally. But, obviously, she wasn't involved uh in the tournament or the latter stages of the tournament. So it's Nia Jax. And I think uh, Nia Jax would would do some good stuff being Queen of the Ring, if I'm being honest. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. Now we're going to talk about the King of the Ring. And, uh, yeah, I feel this is heavily on the Raw side. That's why we've put Chosen a Woman from SmackDown, because I feel like it is going to be a man from Raw, and it is Gunter. Gunter has already made it through to the final. He beat Jey Huso on Monday Night Raw. Uh, he's my winner all day long. I feel like he is going to get crowned King of the Ring. It just kind of makes sense. His opponent could be either Randy Orton or Tamatonga. I mean... Jeez, uh, I can't see it being Tamatonga what gets through on Friday. Uh, so that would lead us to Gunther versus Randy Orton. That could be a really good match. I'm really excited for that. But, I mean, I'm not going to completely rule out Tamatonga because he has got history. His dad, Haku, was king. But he didn't win the tournament, of course. But he was a king. There was King Haku for a short time in the 80s. His dad wore a crown. Maybe they could do something similar with that with her Tamatonga. Could be quite fun. Uh, but nah, it's got gun for written all over it. It'll be Randy Orton, who he faces at Saudi Arabia. I can pretty much guarantee that. Uh, yeah, I've got gun for winning the King, men's King of the Ring. Then we go to a title match. And that is for the uh, Women's Championship. It's Becky Lynch, the champion, versus Liv Morgan. Uh, Obviously, the build here is that Liv Morgan is on the revenge tour. And a part of the revenge against Rhea Ripley is to get her championship. Uh, And, yeah, obviously, right now, Becky Lynch is the champion. Uh, (laughs) I hate them doing transitional champions. But in this case it kind of makes sense because Liv Morgan winning the Battle Royal wouldn't be, deem her uh, a deserved champion. Having a beat Becky Lynch really uh, emphasises that, you know, uh, she she's beaten Becky Lynch. Look what it did to Valkyria for the NXT Championship. Yeah, so I, I feel that Becky might do a job here and uh, get Liv Morgan over. Uh, I mean... Honestly, the end game of this, Liv Morgan gets the championship. Rhea Ripley returns at SummerSlam and absolutely dominates her. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? She's going to get that title back, and it will be Liv Morgan who she runs through to get it back. So, yeah, there's going to be an end game to that storyline, and it w- won't be Liv Morgan on her revenge tour. It will be Rhea Ripley just tearing her limb from limb. <laughs> But yeah, I've got Liv Morgan. I don't really want this, but it kind of makes sense. So Liv Morgan to win there. Then we've got the night's main event, which is Cody Rhodes versus Logan Paul. I mean, we saw something similar to this uh, when Logan Paul took on Roman Reigns. I don't like this for Cody. I want him to get into a more meatier storyline. He's just come away from the Bloodline storyline. And I feel it's a bit flat so far. I mean, AJ Styles was a good match. The crowd was electric. But the actual feud wasn't. Uh, And now we've got this. Uh, Cody Rhodes versus Logan Paul. uh, A social media influencer. 
I mean, come on. <laughs> uh, I do think Cody retains. I would have put a question mark if both titles had been on the line because it, I would have thought instantaneously that they'd just do a double DQ or a count out or whatever and nobody loses their titles. But in this scenario, there's only Cody's title up for grabs and he ain't losing that. Not to Logan Paul. No way. Absolutely no way. So, yeah, got Cody retaining. Well, let's get to the bit that you probably want me to talk about most. And what do I think will happen at the end of the show? I mean, we saw Extreme Rules uh, over, well, two years ago. That uh, we got the uh, puppets returned. And obviously Bray Wyatt showed up. Do we have something similar in Saudi Arabia? Does Uncle Howdy make an appearance? I mean, obviously I've made this video before the Thursday night reveal on Twitch. So I don't know what the latest QR code is. Uh, or even before Smackdown. So yeah, I'm a bit unsure if we've got any new information. But the all sense of purpose is that it's something is going to go down in Saudi Arabia. It is Cool to know that it is Bo Dallas, a.k.a. Taylor Rotunda's birthday on Saturday, the day of the Saudi Arabia event. So keep that uh, noted because it could be very interesting. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I think, me personally, I think they do it. It would change what looks on paper a very average show into one of the most eagerly anticipated PLEs of the year. Imagine how many views the end part of this PLE is going to get if it is the uh, the return of the uh, Wyatt Six, uh, Cult of Wyndham, whatever you want to call these, or as I like to call them, Uncle Howdy's Barmy Army. <laughs> I'm going to try and get that over. You do know that. But, yeah, obviously, it would change the show for me. It would take an average show and really skyrocket it up, in all fairness. But, obviously, you've got to remember, it is in Saudi Arabia. Usually, stuff like this is saved for an American audience and not uh, across uh, the, the globe, if you will. So, yeah, just bear that in mind that they might just save this for an American PLE. But... I'm still excited. Nonetheless, it could happen. I will be watching. We will be live on Saturday. Uh, I, we won't be here for the kickoff show. I'm going to set that live stream for 6 p.m. UK time. Uh, so just wait for the notification bell to ring. And uh, yeah, obviously, and we will be live for that show. Might not be live before it but we will be live directly for it uh make sure that you join me tomorrow for smackdown as that is also in saudi arabia starting at 5 p.m uk time so yeah it's gonna be good i've been dave in real life you guys have been awesome make sure that you leave your predictions in the comment section below and until the next time bye for now